Hi, it's me Linux. So today we are going to discuss about how to create one a Gmail logo. It's a very simple. Uh, so you can use your own idea too. So uh, first of all, I have to select a rectangle tool and click over here. Set the value like over. We have to go uh, to 35. Then height 180. You can change a little bit whatever you want so now i got this then we don't want that stock value stock value keep as a normal 1pt for this this is for uh, measurement of this uh, logo and the next we have to make one uh, line from a bottom to top so we can go that distance approximate for 43 uh, like a pt so i have to go 43 pt like a 43.63 something okay and uh, next i have to create one more line from this top to left here then move this point till the right edge okay perfect now this is the middle point of this uh, OEM. and uh, next we have to create that to m inside of this then i have to target like uh, uh, based on this points i have to make straight off uh, one more line here okay and uh, i will need the same gap on the right side so what i'm doing i have to copy ctrl c and ctrl f for this one then uh, we have to make that uh, mirror tool perfectly so i think uh, this is not right i think i made a little bit wrong for this one uh oh this is a problem so see now the middle point is not uh, this it's uh, getting wrong so i have to move a little bit over here okay now i have to select again then edit copy edit paste in front okay then we have to go to the mirror and click bottom anchor point again top anchor point here okay now this one is perfect and the next one we have to make that line join here to here till here okay and uh, here to here so i made one mistake so i have to move this uh, two line i mean the bottom points uh, till that end here okay now this middle one how again delete it so we don't want so this is the m that the basic one and the next we have to join this all the like uh, junctions so i have to select all of this point one and uh, two so we have to check now this is perfectly selected okay and next we have to go to the join tool is under the shaper tool then i have to drag over here to like that corner junction here and right side also same time we have to go to the middle tool then we have to check whether it's uh, connected or not i think uh, there is some issues so my case i have to like lock this bottom one then i have to make join again for this bottom okay now once you click this m so you can see now this is a perfectly connected with all corners it's connected and uh, next step we have to make this point like a corner uh, so we have to make uh, like a little bit of corner of this one like this and uh, we have to make that stroke thickness the stroke thickness uh, I, i'm trying to go like uh, i have to go to the so we can go to the property here and uh, that value i have to set the value for the stroke size uh, like uh, 50 around it okay so once you've done now you can see now this uh this point is a little bit uh, down here so we have to select this bottom i mean the anchor point then move this key till reach uh that particular that line so because of this how we keeping that measurements okay uh, now this is fine and uh, next step we have to delete this rest of this lines so we don't want this one Okay, now I have to delete uh, this one too so I have to make unlock of this particular line here then I have to delete it and uh, after that uh, we have to cut this particular uh, like uh, shapes so I have to go to the object 
and expand make it okay that means it's converted as a normal that fill color i mean the fill uh, shape here okay once you select here now you see you can see there's a fill color also it's uh, then now we have to make uh, that uh, lines perfectly here so i made one line here so i have to we have to trim this particular the points so make sure this this line should be very clear and uh, perfect so now my case it's okay and next i have to make copy of uh, this one so you can make one more this uh, line for the intersection points select the line again and start from this corner and uh, target that perfect uh, line arrangements here okay so once you've done you have to make one more so we have to make that straight one here and uh, i have to make one more from this corner to here okay and uh, next step we have to trim this all the junctions as well so when you trim just to focus that colors and all and uh, for this one i have to separate so i have to use the shape builder then i'm just to click over here one uh, then two then three then four then five so we don't want this rest of line so you have to cut it with the alt key okay now this one now uh, it's a uh, perfect then we can fill the color whatever we need and uh, i have to set the color one by one so i made ungroup and uh, for this color so the blue we have to set the value the decimal value we have to set 547d b f so we will get that perfect uh, that color and uh, next step we have to make that yellow on this corner so for that uh, we have to set the value of this one f b b c 1 2 to get that so now we got the yellow too and the next we have to go to the green color of this one this green and we have to go 3 0 or a 9 5 3 so we can get that uh, green too uh, for uh, this color and uh, we have to make sure one more time for the color so the a 9 5 3 okay perfect and uh, next I have to select uh, that uh, on my, uh, that left side this this color we have to change uh, like uh, like a little bit dark red of this one so I have to select that dark red value C6 2427 then uh, I got we got it and the uh, next one or we have to set this one as a like a normal color of this one so this one a little bit light red so we have to set e b 4 3 3 5 value so now now we got almost that uh, uh, logo but we have to set that corner properly and i have to cancel the stock too so i have to select uh, all of that then I have this I have you can change the color so you can just select and cancel that uh, stock color for this again this there is a something that lines you don't want that so select it then we have to cancel this uh, blue to here okay now it's a perfect one and the finally we have to make a corner of for this two oh I mean Corner. so you have to select the data selection tool and click on the left one and uh, click to right one too and uh, make it go very little bit or uh, not more so make it lower okay one more okay now I think uh, it's uh, done so if you want you can just adjust the values whatever you want so thank you so much for watching this video.